good morning. It's not that like early, early, but it's morning enough. It's not, it's not noon yet. Dog oh, man, how y'all doing? Yeah, this is for me not starting this car up in like four days. This car get up like I do. Slow as hell or creaky noises. But nah, I wanted to uh, run the Dunkin' Donuts here real quick. Grab, probably grab a refresher and a wake up egg wrap or something like that. Probably a veggie wake up. My neighbors be doing weird stuff. They're just looking at me in the rear view. I walked out the house and they walked out the house at the same time. And I don't believe in coincidences. I don't know. It might be a, uh, since they, most of them get on my nerve, it might be like a, a sign that I need to move faster. It's been, it's, uh, it's been a heavy downpour here in the cross for about a week. I was kind of wondering where that, where that water was coming from. I was like, I know I don't have any leaks in here. I don't see anything. So yeah, it's probably when I stepped off the, off the deck there, off the, the porch. Let's see what I got. I got a basketball I haven't used in a while. I might go shoot today. And no, I'm not trash. I'm just rusty. But uh, yeah, want to make some more content. I'm driving a 400. I know I probably have to. Uh, I'm probably gonna sell it soon. A couple people uh, contacted me about it. We'll see. You know how it is when you sell cars. You never know who's serious or who's just playing, or if they have good intentions. Like the one guy, I'm like, I have six five up on the uh, Facebook Marketplace for the car. It's like I got three. I didn't even respond to that. I'm not. I'm not responding to that. Come on. I know what I'm selling. At least I'm not one of those guys. Like I know what I got. No, I know the the market, what the car, the mileage, the condition, and stuff like that. I just go. Out, you know, go off that. I don't go off how much I put into the car. I, I need to get all that money back. You know, technically, if I went with all the money I put into the car, I probably I would want like ten or twelve. But that's unrealistic. Not for no two thousand Lincoln LS. But yeah, I heard it was a couple of uh, car meets around here. I didn't really get out to, and that's just the the nature of the beast. Because that morning, with the one they had in Rochester, it was raining. I wasn't taking the Cedric on the road in the rain just to show up there and be dirty at the drive back. And I don't know, I didn't want to do that one. Like I said, man, and, and the basement flooded a little bit too. I had to go down there and assess that. But it is what it is. But yeah, the long and forgotten cars that some people should look into. I know we all love the JDM right hand drives. I know I do. I, every time I go on um, one of those sites, the importer sites, it's like, I don't know, man. I just, I just want more cars. Like, really end up on a, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 cars. Just looking at, I don't know, man. It's it's a it's a rough. You ever get that where you just like look at like all the cars from your childhood too, and you want those, but at the same time you want the cars from your childhood, that, you know, when you were a child that you just couldn't get. And that's the obsession it is with those '90s JDM, even late '80s JDM, and just late '80s cars in general. That's why I think I'm in love with a lot of those, like like the Trans Am, like you know, the Night Riders, you know, because Kit is like one of my favorite favorite cars and. I know it sounds childish, but I eventually want to build my own. Uh, definitely not, you know, film accurate. I don't want film accurate. I just, for the most part, the interior, I would do, a, you know, close to what you can, you know, get to the monitors, probably up to update them and stuff like that. Definitely uh, uh, a Turbo LS will be in order. Or supercharged. You know what? Since it sounds sexier, a supercharged SS with like a really good, uh, distinct whine to the uh, supercharger would be nice. It give Kit the little aesthetic and had a little the scanner light go off. You know, I don't know, man. That's a lot of ideas I have in my head. I want to do tons of giveaways when I get to a certain point, but who knows when that level will. will little rides but for the most part you like giving back and I also want to see if people appreciate my sense of uh, tasteful mods and uniqueness when it comes to cars pulling up now man that 
little air dummy thing going nuts, boy. He's doing a little dance up there. This dude behind me tried to, uh, oh no, it's a girl. She tried to pull in and um, drift her way ahead of me on this, uh, in this drive through Ma'am, relax. Let me order this. I'll probably get a large. And I'm gonna ask dumb questions. Watch. Give me a second. Thanks for stopping. What kind of starter for you today? Let's see. Can I get uh one veggie wake up wrap and one um ham wake up wrap? Yeah, can I get a a, a large uh, strawberry dragon fruit refresher with uh, green tea infused? Fortunately, we are out of our strawberry concentrate. Okay. Yeah, blueberry pomegranate. Yeah, we do. All right, and uh, green tea infused. Anything else for you today? No, that'd be it. All right, so six to the bottom. All right, thank you. Always be kind when you're in the drive-through as well. Man. They have a hard enough uh, time, so. Even though, you know, sometimes they get a little sassy, but it's all good, man. Thanks, Said that I got it. I went ahead of her on the drive through. It is what it is sometimes. You're gonna get your food. It's like 1043, so if you're gonna be late, you're gonna be late. Oh, she's on the phone. No wonder. Let's see. I love, I don't know if I should be. Drinking dragon fruit refreshment. Do you get a straw? Yep, I got a straw. Have a look at the calorie count. I'm out here count, count the calories. I love Huskies too. Is he getting out of the truck with a dog? There's a Jeep behind me. I don't know if you can see it in the rear view on the good camera. I love dogs, but right now I just don't have time for a dog. But I would love to make time for one. There you go. Have a good All right, you too. She looked like she didn't want to be there today. I don't blame her. Is that the tell you ride? No, I said I'll say. I like to tell you ride. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll get back to where I was before, but I love I want something about the uh, the rear end of that um, tell you ride. I think it's a Kia that I love so much. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. When it comes to some, um, cars, there's a lot of aesthetic stuff involved with me. Certain lines, if you don't know, aesthetics is just basically the was it the philosophy of curves and designs and just design stuff. So I don't know. Some of that language speaks to me in some cars. And so, you know, regardless of how much horsepower it is, if it's not for me, I probably won't buy it. But it's like this anything with wheels, I would drive it. I don't, even the cars that most people consider like ugliest sin, I guess a part of me is like, I could probably make it look good. And I, I don't know, I don't know. It's just something, it's like a challenge. Like, like Vegas, Citations, was it Chevette's? I'm like, man make that look good a little body kit here a little some wheels here uh engine modifications here it's like a challenge would be this the uh turn cars you know had issues like a lot of the people say oh yeah this is where gm failed in the 90s and the 80 or whatever car manufacturer failed this car it was you know it, it came out and it bombed but sometimes it was uh just 
the cars may be a, a, not a, you know behind or ahead of their time or something like that the design i'm trying to say design language wasn't like you know popular right then and there but i don't know if you can revisit some of that stuff and like fix all the issues like a lot of those gm models they were front wheel drive turn them um if i did them now i'll turn them to either uh, rear wheel all wheel especially if you just say uh, it depends on where you live in the country or what you you know what the uh, you know the performance and you know what you intended the car to do i would do that but man i don't know man it's just a lot of uh it's a lot of cars that i would revisit try to make better well yeah now um back to what i was talking about before just uh selling this car and the mustang i probably skipped a lot of stuff i'm sitting there just trying to keep up here hey he, he's upset my thing is i hate selling cars i really do like i hate selling cars due to the haggling hassle uh and people telling you what they think your car is worth versus you know how what it's all going what they feel i don't sell cars on emotion like i have this much invested in it means this much to me like yeah a lot of cars mean a lot to me but I'm not necessarily super married to any of the cars I have, but it's just like, I hate seeing cars. This is happening when you hate seeing cars go off to people you know are gonna just like destroy that car. Like you can just tell when they leave, yeah, they about to, they about to do whatever the care, you know, the TLC you put into it. They're like, yeah, I don't care about none of that sight and, and go off. That's a lot of times, like I'll, I will stop. I will sell the car less to someone who, so I don't know what's up, uh, battery died. So I just grabbed the, uh, oh, the the windshield mouth off. God, why is it so dirty? But uh, I heard someone else complaining about it. I don't know what's up with those GoPro batteries. Cause I just, I think I just charged that battery. I don't know how long they last. I gotta go back and look. It says 98%. So I don't even know how long they last. Do you know how long they last? I'll, I'll look it up. How long it lasts per full charge? I guess it is in 1080. Is it 60w oh i probably should adjust that on the, the gopro i haven't really done the setting come on fam don't don't drop on me like i know i the car dirty but i don't mean add some more to it but no let me turn this thing off i'm gonna miss you though that's the only thing man that's a, i just hate 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 selling cars but yeah, a lot of those forgotten cars, man. It's a lot of. I don't know what it is about some of those cars. I just like love like the the non-popular. Even though I do like box Chevys, it's a popular model. I like the the Supras, all that stuff. The G bodies are popular. I love G bodies. I want a, I want a Malibu, like an '80s Malibu. Uh, of course, I want an SS Monte Carlo, uh, Z28. Man, I want to go back lead sleds, rat rods. I want to ride it all. I still want to do a lot with uh, like scooters and stuff too. I like that that ruckus movement going on. I like that. A lot of bikes. Habusa, even though my riding skill is not Busa level. I just want a bike, man. Harley, probably, I don't know, man. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff I want. I want to drive. Want to ride side by side stuff like that i don't know man it's just a ton of that two-door tahoes there's a lot of things i want to do and also like i don't know a lot of stuff i want to give away too because i want i want people to enjoy my vision and things i build too like selling this car is not really my full vision so i can't really say hey i hope the next person enjoys as much as i did i hope they enjoy it's just uh just the beginning i don't know what you think about the 400z but it's, a, it's been a, like a toss up in my mind. If I get rid of the Mustang and I get rid of this car, I was thinking I, maybe I should wait until I'll probably, I do want a 400 Scat Pack or a Hellcat. Seeing that the Z is new, maybe get into some Z content, but for, it's just something inside of me that still wants. Uh, a Challenger, I might do a Scat Pack since it's just a NA and do a Scat Pack Challenger with the same I might you'd probably do it aftermarket with the same vinyl um combo as the black ghost if you don't know that uh documentary on that that uh i think it's a challenger out of uh detroit they used to uh street race it's a gentleman it's, it's, a, it's a great story and i kind of want to do it is it like a tribute car to that uh 
than that, I love Hellcats, man. I don't know something about that distinct supercharger wine. I know Dodge said they uh, purposely, you know, made that wine that way because the I guess the the fans wanted it. Let's people know, you know, you know when you hear a cat coming for sure. Like I know when I hear cats versus scats, but they uh, the gear changes sound similar because I'm guessing they're running the same. I forgot, uh, was it Tremec? I'm not sure, but uh, I know they're running something like that. You can hear those. Same thing with the Trackhawks, man. There's a distinct sound to when they're when they're banging gears. Uh, at least the auto over, not the if it's a manual, you definitely don't know, but the um, the auto with the I think I don't know if they're dual clutches. I don't think though. I don't think so. I think when you're just banging through on um, when you put it on the pedals and stuff like that. I think it's a it's a distinct sound man or it might be an auto mode i don't know if it's in track or whatever they leave it in like i said you guys with those scats and those hellcats stop riding around in track man don't don't do that don't don't keep your transmission in track all the time keep that in sport because a lot of these dudes out there just like leaving their cars I, I've, I've been in a car where just riding around town in track that was a I've been in Sport Plus models for like that when I was riding around in that uh that Lexus and also I had a um a C class uh Benz when I was in like visiting Vegas. Those shifts are a little rough for like just regular traffic, man. You don't want to that's that's not how to ride around. Plus it's hard on the car anyway, so you know, it puts the whole car in sport. So they're expecting it's expecting sport stuff. Like sport usually you're on the you're on the gas pedal and you're, you know, going at a steady rate and not just slowing down and speeding up and stuff like that. I don't know, man. It's just that's just me ranting about that stuff, but yeah, man, I want all those cars and I want track hawk too. I want too much, man. I don't, you know, how am I going to get there? I got to work hard. That's the that's the lazy uh go-to default uh thing when people tell you just work hard, you'll get it. And it's a little uh, you have to work a little smart too, so it'd be you have to work smart involved in that. So if you're out there starting a channel, I I really encourage you to do so. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're building a desk or something like that, man. Like garage doors, something like that. Do it. Um, giving out knowledge, you know. Do that too. <sighs> I'm gonna miss this car, man. I ain't gonna front to you. I always wanted the LS400. I'm not sure what made me fall in love with the LS400. I don't know. I don't know. Every time I seen one, I just knew. I'm like, man, that car looks special. And owning it, it's a special car. I just... If I wasn't moving, I don't know. I already have to ship the Cedric. I want to keep the Cedric. I got to ship the 430 because I'm not driving either one of those cars. Uh, the Maxima, those three, I'm definitely going to try to keep. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to sell the Cedric. I really don't because I kind of want uh, to play that. Uh, hopefully, I get that SEMA, that black SEMA off of the white, the white Cedric. So, I'd be, like I said, I'll be, I'll be done with Y32s. I hate saying that because I still want a Gloria, but I'm just going to chill on that. But... And hopefully I can bring some content to you later on. I'm not sure. I'll try to run to some of the guys from the car meets, try to sit down, do some build, like, um, you know, build interviews or whatever. You can call it, you know, buildology and stuff like that. I hate jacking people's uh, lane and stuff like that. But the way I do it may be a little different. I have some other car content I can do as well, man. And I'm probably going to do my own uh theme song or whatever i need for this channel i'll probably do that i won't use any of my songs for it because my previous songs i think it's like one song i'll probably use maybe run it that'd be about it but i would have to definitely remaster that because it sounds kind of rough right now um i might put some of my run it song on the end of this video but one thing i can tell you about that song is it might be copyright because i did i had a cardo beat so i don't know I leased it back in like 2010, so I don't know if anyone else used it or if it'll uh, get a copyright strike. So if it doesn't, I'll leave it on the um, end of the video. And I like the fact that now um, YouTube is putting on something before you put the video out. It'll let you know if there's a copyright issue with anything, so that's key. And hopefully in the future, Cardo doesn't go back in his catalog and go, if it does pass, I hope he doesn't go back in his catalog and go, yeah, yeah take that down but um yeah i'll have some some other videos up for you i'm not sure i might jump into maxima i don't know i was gonna take the mustang out like this weekend it rained and that sunroof does not have seals on it so you already know it's gonna be a drippy situation in that one and i wasn't talking about my outfit so uh 
What was I going to say? Stay blessed. Encourage women to get into the car scene. Stop going to car meets and asking women, hey, is that your boyfriend's car? Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Encourage him to get into the scene because I'm tired of looking at y'all at all these car meets. It's like so total sausage party. Sometimes that's cool. You know, we want to have guy talk and stuff like that. But every now and then you guys see them cakes out, man. Like, encourage, like, for real. I'm not just talking about the drift scene and some particular scene, this car in general. I know there's, there's a lot of them showing up, but man. And also, when they get there, man, back up, man. Let me holler at her first, man. I'm trying to see something. Make her feel good, you know what I mean? Peace.